Hello, in this video, I am going to discuss about a very important topic in multi stage amplifier called loading effect. Okay, so loading effect uh, is an effect that is seen in multi stage amplifier. So, as we all know, that in multi stage amplifier, uh, the gain, for example, uh, the net gain. The net gain, okay. The net gain, for example, AV is the net gain, is equal to the multiplication or the product of the individual gains, okay. Like this, okay. The net gain of the multi stage amplifier is equal to the individual, is equal to the product of the individual gains of the amplifiers, okay. So here you can see that uh, if we have got uh, two uh, amplifiers having a uh, voltage gain AV1 and AV2, as you can see AV1 and AV2 are the voltage gain of these two uh, amplifiers, uh, then uh, the net gain of the amplifier will be given by AV is equal to AV1 into AV2, okay, AV1 into AV2. It should be the net gain, but in reality, it has been found that this net gain is always less than net gain is always less than the the product of the individual gain. It has been found. So this uh, is due to the loading effect. Okay, why this net gain is less than the individual gain? It is because of the loading effect now we'll be discussing what is loading effect okay, and how does it occur so for example in this uh, circuit let uh, let vi okay let vi is the input voltage okay input voltage Okay, A V one is the gain of first stage. Let it be voltage gain. Okay, I am writing it as uh, voltage gain of first stage. Voltage gain of first stage. Okay, and A V two is the voltage gain of second stage okay we have got two stage amplifier this is the first stage and this is the second stage okay now uh, let rl1 rl1 means this rl1 is the load resistance for first stage okay load resistance load resistance of first stage okay first stage okay and rin is the input impedance or input resistance okay input impedance of second stage okay so what will be the output impedance of first stage? Okay, what will be the output impedance of first stage? Output impedance, output impedance means the net output opposition, the net output resistance. Okay, output impedance of first stage. Let it be R O one. Okay, R O one is the output impedance of first stage. R O one. It will be. We all know how to find out. It is R since uh, these two are in parallel. Okay, R L one and R I N I are in parallel. So what will be the net combination? R L one into R I N divided by R 
एल वन प्लस आर आई एन ओके आई होप दिस मच इज क्लियर द आउटपुट इंपीडियंस ऑफ फर्स्ट स्टेज नाउ इफ इफ आई एम राइटिंग हियर इफ आर आई एन इज वेरी स्मॉल ओके फ्रॉम दिस फिगर यू कैन सी इफ दिस इनपुट रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ सेकेंड स्टेज इज वेरी स्मॉल ओके इफ आर आई एन इज वेरी स्मॉल देन वॉट विल हैपन इफ आर आई एन इज वेरी स्मॉल इफ दिस टर्म इज वेरी स्मॉल एंड दिस टर्म विल ऑल्सो बी स्मॉल ओके सो ऑब्वियसली नेट आर ओ वन विल बी रिड्यूस ओके आर ओ वन will reduce okay if rin reduces r1 will also reduce isn't it now therefore what will be the net voltage gain from first stage voltage gain of first stage will be A V one is equal to V not one V zero one divided by V I, isn't it? We know that what is the formula for voltage gain? It is the output voltage. What is the output voltage from first stage? It is V O one, isn't it? Let V one V one is the output uh, uh, output voltage of first stage. And V I was the input voltage. So what is the voltage gain? V one by V I. Okay. So it is V is equal to I into R. So it will be I into L one into R O one divided by V I, isn't it? V one is the output voltage of first stage. Okay. Here you can uh, you can also write V O one is the output voltage of first stage. Okay, so output voltage by input voltage is the voltage gain of first stage. Now, since R one will reduce, since R one will reduce. what will happen a v1 will also reduce isn't it so since r1 is small r1 is small therefore a v1 that is the voltage gain of first stage will be less isn't it will be less because here we can see r1 term is there okay if r1 is small if this r1 is small obviously this voltage gain will be less isn't it therefore the gain will be reduced isn't it therefore the gain av1 will reduce so in few lines what you can write as av1 decreases due to low input impedance R I N of second stage amplifier this phenomena is called as loading effect okay is called as loading effect okay 
so what is going on here since the main thing is that r i n is small okay since r i n is small input impedance of second stage is small you can see here r i n is the input impedance of second stage since it is small therefore what is going on at the end a v1 will reduce that is the gain of first stage will reduce this phenomena is called as loading effect okay i hope you have understood so how to avoid the loading effect okay how to deal with this problem we can deal with this problem if we increase the input impedance of second stage isn't it okay solution so what is the solution to loading effect loading effect the solution is if r i n is high what will happen if r i n is high that means the, if the input impedance or the input resistance of second stage is high then what will happen from this formula you can see uh from this formula you can see if r i n this r i n is high what will happen r o 1 and r l 1 will be almost same okay if r i n is high then r o 1 will be nearly equal to r l 1 okay then the gain will not be reduced okay then the gain of first stage will not will not reduce okay and this phenomena is called as non loading effect okay understood so again i am saying in brief what is going on at first we have got a two stage amplifier okay and the gain of the first stage will be reduced because of low value of input impedance of second stage okay it can and this phenomena is called as loading effect hmm. and to avoid this we need to increase the input impedances of the next stage okay if you use three or four amplifiers uh, cascading of amplifiers then we need to increase we need to make the input impedances of the subsequent stages to be very high okay through this only we can avoid the loading effect i hope you have understood if you have any doubt then you can ask me in the comment section and uh, i have also explained uh, two videos related to rc coupled uh, one video of rc coupled amplifier where i mentioned about uh, the loading effect okay uh, so this uh, video you should see for loading effect in uh, multi stage amplifier thank you very much